Hello everyone, and I am absolutely bored and dragged Oscar down to his living room at 2 in the morning to tell the story of Super Metroid. And he looks absolutely positively ticked off at me in his own Oscar way. Look at his fury. Yep. Anyway, Oscar, tell the magnificent tale of Super Metroid through your eyes. In order to know what happens in Super Metroid, you need to know what happened in the old games. Part 1, cut in 2 seconds. She goes in, she rapes this planet, not completely, didn't blow up for once, killed Ridley, Kraid, Mother, and 2, they send her to kill off the Metroids because they're fucking annoying. And she kills off all of them. Now here's where Metroid starts. She killed all of them except for one, this baby. And the baby thought she was her mom which was totally cool in Samus' eyes. She's like, dude, I gotta show this to these scientists. And she was so stoked to show this and that she went all the way to the space station. I forgot what it was called. The Sears station, where you buy clothes. The Sears station. Shit. It was like series or something anyways. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> she goes there and she's got this totally awesome news about this metric. And she's like, dude, this thing thinks I'm its mom. It's smart. And it's the last of its kind. You gotta go and take care of it. And the scientists are like, sure. But before they can grab it, she pulls her, she's like, uh-uh-uh. If you're gonna take care of this thing, you gotta make sure that nothing gets a hold of it, that nothing will hurt it, and that it certainly will get kidnapped at any point, anytime soon. You need to like Samus, you gotta relax. This space station, it's, it's like, I don't know how thick, it's got all this high-tech security, nothing can penetrate it, and certainly no like space dinosaur pterodactyl thing can ever penetrate it. I'm just throwing that out there. How would it even fit in the room? No, it wouldn't. It's, it's insane. It's big. It's a giant dinosaur. So then, Samus goes, as long as you promise that nothing will fucking happen to it, you can do whatever you want with it and run your experiments. And he goes, Samus, what can go wrong? Samus is like, word. So she gives them the Metroid, and, you know, right before she leaves, no, no, well, right after she leaves, and she shortly passed the asteroid belt, wouldn't you know it? Ridley came in through the back door, which they clearly didn't have, like, even, like, I don't know, no security at all, I guess. And he just slipped in, killed everyone, said ha, took the Metroid, and stayed in this room. Samus is all like, motherfuckers, what did I just tell them? What did I just tell them? I'm gonna go kill them all. And then she found them all dead anyways. And she goes and takes the baby Metroid back from Ridley, and in which she tries to battle him, but she notices his HP never goes down, and then he escapes, and she's like, God damn it, and then really like, aha, I took the Metroid, and by the way, I laid a bomb. And Samus just says, well, motherfucker, not another bomb. And she goes and she runs out and she follows his space ass to planet Zeebs. That's what it's called, Zeebs. I don't want to hear anything else about Zebes. And when she gets there, she goes and she rapes many, many bosses, and many, many, many bosses, like... Fantoon, the Space Octopus Ghost, and Kraid. She beat Kraid before he can even rip the roof apart. She got items early, and she even froze the little enemies. And while they were frozen in midair, she got some items even early. Good for the mission. She then went to proceed to push this poor little guy named uh, Crackmire. Crocomire. Crocomire, he was just chilling at the edge of a cliff and she pushed him in for no reason into the pit of lava and he died. He meant nothing but Samus was being mean anyways. So, when she finally reaches the end after killing Ridley, who exploded for no reason, um, um, she goes to find Mother Brain and when she kills more Metroids, and I don't know if Samus is really questioning what Metroids are doing there even though she killed them all, but she goes and she kills them all and when she gets to Mother Brain, She's like, I just fought her like a little while ago. This is cake. I already know what to do. She's got the same setup. This is cake. She goes and destroys him. And just as she's planning or tweeting about what she's going to do next, he gets a second form. She's like, motherfucker, a second form? I wasn't expecting this. And all space pirates are like, yeah, we built her one. And she kills them. And then she goes back to fighting Mother Brain. And pretty much... Samus just holds the shoulder button and begins to shoot at an angle at Mother Brain's head using all the ammo she's got until she's got no more. And after that, Mother Brain's like, fuck this, yo, how about Rainbow Blast? And Samus gets Rainbow Blast, basically about to die, and then a baby Metroid shows up finally to save her ass. Now, at this point, Samus is like, what's happening? And she's like, I'm feeling all this power surging through me. And baby Metroid's like, don't worry, Samus, I promise you, 
nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'm gonna protect you. She's like, you promised me? She's like, yup, and then it dies. And Samus gets really pissed because it died because it broke her promise. It's promise. He basically holds the shoulder button and hyper beams Mother Brain to nothing. And Mother Brain's like, ah, I'm dying, and I laid a bomb, ah. And then Samus, you know, flees the planet and uh, immediately decides to go to planet SR388. She'll have another fun, healthy adventure. <laughs> the end. And she saves some space animals, too. <laughs> That's good enough. Are you less angry at me now? Mm. As long as I spread the message. Good enough for me. Let's go.